Hi everyone! Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a, a live. So here we go. I had planned to do this yesterday, but we had uh, some technical problems in the village and we didn't have any internet, so I had to reschedule. And I'm, so I'm giving it a go today. So hopefully, this is. Uh, Going out all right. So, okay. Well, <laughs> this is really outside of my comfort zone, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. But um, lots of other pootlers have have uh, done their first live, so I thought, well, okay, it's time to jump on the bandwagon. So here we go. So, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name's Alison and uh, I've been a demonstrator since January uh, of this year, so relatively new, and I'm a, an expat pootler because uh, although I was born in Southampton, I moved to France 16 years ago, so I live now in Brittany. Um, so, uh, in fact, I, I live not too far, an hour and an hour and a half away from the lovely Dawn Barwick. So, uh, it's two expats together. So, um, oh, I don't quite know what to say. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not really brave enough to try and demonstrate anything uh, today, but I thought I'd of the things that I've managed to make um, during the, the last six months or so, as I say, um, until sort of January, never ever done any crafting before. Um, and I came across one of Sam's videos on YouTube and decided to give it a go. So uh, there you go. And I've since joined this wonderful team of Pootless and I've been inspired by all the wonderful videos and and all the encouragement that you all give um, on, within the group. Um, it's been great, absolutely wonderful. So I'll just flip or attempt to flip the camera over and uh, I'll show you a few of the things that I've I've come up with and how hopefully I've progressed a bit in the last six months. So uh, okay. Okay. So, <laughs> this was one of my very first attempts uh, at a card. <laughs> Extremely basic. Um, that was sort of like the first attempt six months ago. And uh, of course, I've gone on to discover all the the products from Stamping Up um, and the blends, the stamps. Um, different papers um, and I'm gradually getting used to die cutting um, and the colour combinations for the card and the DSP paper so these are just a few of the cards that I've, I've done as I say I'm, I'm gradually improving so. Oops, upside down there you go, that's a few of the cards. Uh, I'm also recovering some notebooks. I tend to use a lot of notebooks. I dot about all over the place because I've got such a terrible memory. If I don't write things down, I'll never remember them. So, so um. That's that. The that's with some of the that, for example, is one of the new um, stamps in the catalogue, the cute fruits, and the uh, new in colour bumblebee. And again, I've also progressed a bit and gone on, making following Sam and some of the other videos from other members of the group. I progressed to making some bags. 
um, the boxes. So I have a little triangular box here. Uh, square box. As I say, six months ago I, I didn't have a clue how to do anything like this. So uh, I think this is this is my favourite one at the, at the moment. I use the tropical dies to cut the paper to make the box. And also I had a go at some whoops uh hexagonal boxes. So this is all thanks to, to Sam and all you wonderful pootlers out there who give me the inspiration. And uh, I've learned such a lot over the last six months. Um and I've also we we had an annual swap, so it's the first time I got involved in that. Um, whereby we swapped um, cards and gifts, and uh, I just want to quickly share the the swaps that I received. This was uh, from Linda Bishop. Nice little. That's got some sticky notes tags in there which is very useful as she said handy for the new catalog so that was that one this one was from uh, janice thompson and that ironically actually arrived the day that i um got my bronze elite so uh, that was pretty good this was from Suzanne Huller. And this one was from Karen Varley. So some lovely gifts there. Um, I can't actually show you the one that I sent out because I rather stupidly didn't keep one myself or I didn't even take a photo so um, um, I have to remember next time so there you go so there you go. that's a few of the things that I've managed to make um, so uh, there you go I haven't really got a lot else to say at the moment except thanks everyone for all the encouragement and support um, and hopefully I will continue to learn. Uh, I'm really enjoying using the products. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, because they're all takes it makes crafting so much easier. So um, there you go. So I will hopefully now have the, the courage to do another live a bit later on. Um, keep you up to date. I've got a lot going on at the moment. I'm in the process of trying to sell my house, so uh, it's a bit hectic, but um, hopefully I'll be able to find some time to keep crafting. Um, watching your tutorials on YouTube, uh, getting the inspiration, and um, yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a learning curve, but an enjoyable one. And it's also been well. The other, the other good thing about the, the stamping up is the fact that because I actually live in France, um, because a lot of the stamps are, you can get them in French, or French, English, German. So that's a, a great help um, for me because I've got lots of French friends. Obviously, um, but still a lot of English relatives over in England. So uh, I get the best of both worlds. The only problem I have is deciding which which stamp sets to get in French and which in English. So uh, if I had the money, I'd probably buy double of, of all of them. So, but there you go. Anyway, um, 
think that's about it for now. As I say, only a short live just to give it a go. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to have another go again very soon. See you later. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.